So this is me now. I got my hair dyed yesterday. It looks good. It needs to be touched up a little bit, but it looks good. I've had my hair pink before, but it was like over a year ago. It's just a good summer look. I like it. It's fun. So yeah, just updating you guys on my hair because I'm a vlogger. I'm a professional vlogger. So there you go. Yo, what is up, YouTube? I don't think I've ever said what's up, YouTube in any of my videos. Could you guys imagine if, like, I started every video with, like, what's up, YouTube? I can't do it. Like, I can't do it. I can't be a YouTuber. Also, that's a thing that I haven't really talked about is, like, I don't consider myself a YouTuber. And, like, I never wanted to, like, be a YouTuber. I just, like, make these videos because I like watching thrift videos. And it seems like people like watching me thrift. So anyways, yeah, just weird side note. I've talked about it with some people before and I've maybe mentioned it here or there, but yeah, like I don't consider myself a YouTuber. So it's really weird to like think about being like, what's up people, what's up? Like, I don't know. Some YouTubers are like super enthusiastic, which is sick. It could get you more pumped up to watch or whatever, but that's just not me. But anyways, I said I wanted to like start vlogging a little bit more in my videos and I've been doing a pretty bad job of getting clips and that kind of circles back around to the like I never thought about being a YouTuber thing because like I, I don't record like anything really so I feel bad because my videos are just like I'm at the bins I'm home and here's what I'm showing you so I'm trying to like record some different stuff to give you guys a little bit of different variety also it'd be fun to like show you guys what I do on my daily life so I just dropped off packages it's Saturday it's like Saturday at like 11 right now and I just dropped off like 18 packages, all from Friday. And not to like just plug my Instagram, but like I think nine sales were just from Instagram. And it's because I post everything I find at the bins or if I like go out thrifting, I post what I find on my story. And then y'all just buy it off of my story directly. So if you don't wanna wait like two to three weeks for a YouTube video to come out because I'm super bad at like recording them and getting them out in a timely manner. Like the last video I just had come out, I still have my old hair and I've had this hair for like over a week now. So I'm just really bad at timing. So if you want to cop stuff before anyone else, follow my Instagram, I post on it every day. But yeah, I forget what the point of me recording this was, but I've already gone to the bins this entire week and I'm done with this week. So I'll probably just do the haul, probably throw in some clips too of, they're not gonna be like YouTube formatted. They're gonna be like vertical just cause I took them off my phone for like my Instagram story or whatever. But I kind of want to throw them in anyways cause I did get some clips of Flow Sif coming by to like buy wholesale for me and just some like funny clips from the bins and stuff like that. Or my setup when he came over to buy bulk for me, I kind of want to show you guys. So it's not gonna be like, youtuber quality content but i want to throw it in or like a picture of him like with his bag and everything he bought so yeah you'll see that stuff in this video and also i don't want to have these this clip is like three and a half minutes long what am i talking about okay anyways just enjoy the video like comment subscribe you guys know the deal okay i'm walking to this garage sale that's like in my neighborhood and they said that they have a lot of men's clothes so we'll go see if it's a bust and if not I will have hit it big at a garage sale, which has like never happened, but we'll see. All right, got a complete GameCube. This is so sick, sealed white. Uh, I've got Super Mario Sunshine, this is good. The boxes are rental though. And then all of these games, I know some of them probably aren't worth anything. Oh, and a Stussy shirt, but I got all of it for, I think it was, 32 bucks for everything, so I'm stoked. Okay, so I just got back from that garage sale and this is the good stuff that I picked up. So I got a Stussy long sleeve, I got a complete working GameCube with the cords and everything, they're all in there, one controller. And then this Pokemon game is sealed. This is a sealed white version for the DS. I got Super Mario Sunshine. It's in a rental case, but it has the manual and the disc. And then Simpsons Hit and Run and Luigi's Mansion. And then all these games, which are like four or five, to maybe up to like $10 games. So this is still money, but just this stuff here, we got Pokemon. The last sold on Pokemon sealed was 110 bucks. Simpsons is steadily going for 40. Luigi's Mansion steadily going for 40. Mario Sunshine disc only is going for like 50. 
but this has case, it's a rental case, but it also has manual. So I just had 50 on it. And then the Stussy Long Sleeve, I said like 15. Everything just right here in this little group is like 355 bucks. And I paid $32 for everything, for everything. Okay, so I've been hitting the bins a lot this week, as you guys can see. This is like all unprocessed stuff, these two stacks. So I'll do a little pickup of like my favorite finds. There's like a few things that have happened that I wanted to film that I just didn't. Honestly, I've had like really low energy recently. And I think it's because I've been going to the bins so much. I normally take like a day or two off from bins. I don't go every day of the week. I go like three max mainly. So I think I'm gonna go five days this week. Also, I did a bulk sale to Flosif from Not Most People. Their channel is awesome. I've honestly been subbed to their channel for like two years or so. And yeah, he's local to me and he came through and bought some wholesale and I really wanted to do a video on it, but I just thought it was kind of invasive and weird. He also kind of said the same thing. He wanted to do a video on it, but he was like, I'm not really feeling it. And I was like, yeah, it's our first time meeting and everything, but I will include some pictures or something. He bought a good little haul for me and I was very stoked. We we're both really happy and we're definitely gonna be working together again soon. Might even do a thrift video soon. So that's really, really cool. But yeah, that happened. And then I've been at Ben's three days in a row now. I'm going back tomorrow. I might even go Saturday and I never go on weekends. I might mix in some other stuff with this video. It might be kind of weird or something. I'm already sitting on like two videos to get out. So I don't even know when this is gonna come out, but obviously my hair is pink now and it's already faded a little bit. I definitely need to get it touched up. But yeah, just kind of a random thought. I'm definitely gonna try to include some different clips. I might go out and skate a little bit or something like that, but there will be Ben's content in this video and I found some really cool stuff. So I'm very stoked to show. All right, y'all, I sold the best tea that I found at the bins today. So I wanted to get it in the video before it got shipped out. It's an absolute banger. And yeah, I can't even believe I found it today, honestly. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So it says, if only I had money instead of this giant dick absolute banger yo i just got back from bins for the day and my hair is like hella floofy right now i hate it put like too much conditioner in it anyways it's thursday i like never go to the bins on thursday so it was pretty slow it was like not that good but it wasn't like too bad like two weeks ago on wednesday and friday I got two items on Wednesday and three items on Friday. Like, it was terrible. So it was still okay. And I'll show you guys some of the things I got, but I did get one thing that sold already. And I wanna show you guys before I send it off. It's another grailer. I've been picking up these like really stupid like comedy tees, like just like text on a shirt, like shirts you'd get in the early or like mid 2000s that would say like ridiculous things on them. And yeah, I've just been selling them for like $20 shipped and they've been selling. So this is one of those shirts, so. I'll show you guys. I'm actually going to a garage sale. I had a video like a few months ago where I raided a reseller storage unit and I'm going to his yard sale tomorrow. He set it up early for me and a friend to come by. He said he has 10,000 items and he's purging like a lot of stuff because he has a warehouse now and it's like almost full. And he's like, come by early. I'll have everything set up for you. And I think I spent like 300 bucks or something with him last time, maybe 400. I got a ton of clothes from him. He always has extremely solid prices. So I'm very stoked. So I'll try to record that. I'm gonna be at Bins tomorrow, tomorrow's Friday. I'm gonna be at Bins tomorrow too. So I'll try to record more. And yeah, so let's check out this shirt. I'm Rick James, bitch.
So how fast do you think that I can go through all this? Because this is the best stuff and the stuff I wanted to show from last week. And I thought it'd be like 20 things. <laughs> so yeah, here I go. I'm gonna try to go through all this pretty fast. Okay, as you can see by the stack, we have a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna try to go through it pretty quick so I can just get it over with. It's like Sunday at seven o'clock. I need to start packing my orders. And the only reason I'm doing this right now is because Flo Sif, you saw him earlier in the video, did a buyout for me. He did a buyout for me exactly a week ago. So last Monday, it's about to be Monday. And he wants to come back through already because he sold a lot of the stuff I sold him. So I was like, all right, I better make a video now of my haul because he's probably gonna buy a lot of this stuff. So if you guys see anything you want, this video probably is like two, three weeks old. So most of the stuff might be gone, but feel free to hit me up on Instagram if you see anything that you like. I'm gonna try to go through this pretty fast and my first few items have already sold. So this one already sold. It is a starter size XL Mariners jersey. It's all stitched in, starter tag right there, size XL. There's nothing on the back. If this was a Ken Griffey Jr. like jersey, I think they go for like 80 up, like 80 to 100, but it's blank. I think I sold this for like 35 bucks. This also sold to my homie Drew from Profit Monsters. Go check out his YouTube if you guys don't already. This is a Mickey set. Look at, he's playing soccer. And we got the shorts right here. So I got a lot of cool kids clothes. I'm about to go through the rest of my little kids clothes fine. But yeah, a lot of cool vintage kids clothes that I found recently. And yeah, this set, I sold it to him for I think 20 shipped, which is pretty good little deal for a cute little outfit. Okay, the rest of the kids clothes. This one is crazy. And shout out to Cascadia Vintage, my dude Andy, who found like two or three of these pieces and passed on them because he doesn't really mess with kids clothes, but I'll totally sell them. So this is like a crazy Mickey Minnie all over print. There's no print on the back, but really awesome all over print, single stitch, probably like early 90s. Even though they're kids clothes, like these you can still sell for like 15, 20, up to like $30. Got an Esprit long sleeve. The graphic is so sick. I forget what those things are called, but yeah, very, very cool. It's a long sleeve, it's free. San Antonio Spurs tee. The colors are just crazy. These are all kids pieces, by the way. So this is another kids piece. This is my favorite kids piece. I might keep it, honestly, because I loved watching this show growing up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The colors are amazing. Single stitch is dated 1990. I think it's like size, it's size youth large, but it's very, very small. So yeah, this one is just amazing. We got a 1996 Seattle Sonics t-shirt. This one is really stained up, so I'm gonna try to soak it, but this is a Los Angeles Raiders and it's like striped white and gray. Very cool. And that's it for the kids pieces. Next we have this wolf piece. This one is also pretty stained up. I'm gonna have to soak it, but the sleeves have the dual color so it's black when you roll them up really cool this one is awesome and it was passed off to me if you could believe that it's a big dogs starbucks inspired shirt and these big dog shirts if they're like the movie shirts and stuff some of them can go for like better money i heard recently someone was looking for one of the pulp fiction big dog shirts and they said they pay like a few hundred dollars for it which is crazy to me but this is like a starbucks one i could not find this one online when i looked it up like i couldn't find it at all it's from 1994 it's single stitched on the sleeve size xl it's gonna need a soak but i might hang on to this a little bit i might even make it an instagram post it's just so sick this was probably one of my best finds i think it was friday i found this this is a so damn insane Saddam Hussein shirt. It's crazy, single stitch on both hem, size large. It fits kind of boxy, but yeah, this is probably at least like a $40 shirt. This one was also passed off to me. It sucks that it's like a sleep shirt. It's a one size fits all, but it's an abominable snowman from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's really big, it's like a sleep shirt and it's pretty distressed. It has some holes in it and stains. I'm gonna have to soak it. This one, this is crazy. This is a bootleg Fendi Fila collab, like bodysuit, swimsuit kind of thing. And yeah, even the bootleg or like inspired ones of this design, I couldn't find one exactly like this, but the like bootleg inspired Fendi Fila collab stuff still sells for like $100 on eBay. I found comps for like $100 for like swimsuits and bodysuits of this exact same kind of looking collab. And none of them were as cool as this. Like this one is crazy. So I have a pending sale for a hundred. It's a very unique piece. It's in really good condition. There's the like little bootleg Fendi tag right there. But yeah, this one was crazy. At the bottom of the bin, just kind of balled up, pulled this guy out. Just a simple, big print, kind of marbled nature tee. Just thought I'd throw it in the video. This one was passed off to me from Ben's mom. Just love the colors and everything. This is a Callaway golf crew neck, but it honestly gives me like golf Lafayette vibes. Like with the font, it's like almost exactly the same. And it's just like baby blue. and 
this like kind of cream color. I just thought it was really cool. This was passed off to me from my homie Zach. This is all right on Instagram. It's a London, England crew neck and it's got the European screen stars tag. Love this tag. Just the colors are awesome. This one was a throwback from Cascadia Vintage. My homie Andy, he did not want this. And I'm pretty sure I had this painting like in my house growing up. It's like a Seattle, Washington painting. I don't know the name of this artist, but my parents definitely had a few pieces of their art and it's just very calming for me. This is definitely a Depop grail for those kinky girls. It says, tie me up. So time yet. This is a nutmeg Dallas Cowboys crew neck size large, kind of stained up, but pretty solid. This is a, I think 2000 Jimmy Buffett, like wraparound print shirt, Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville. Just cool little Depop flip, probably like 15 bucks. Just love the colors and graphic on this. It's Code West. I think they make jeans or something, but I think it's like a defunct brand, but this is like early nineties, single stitch, just graphic t-shirt. Very cool. Love the colors and art. This is like a random hockey jersey. It says summer showcase of stars, I think is what it says. Yeah. Summer Showcase of Stars. It's like Snapple CCM. That's why I mainly got it. I just love the like Snapple and CCM hits and also the colors on it are really cool. Nothing crazy. I think on eBay, these sell for like 25 bucks or something. This one, I still can't figure out what it is, but I think it's a Gap like ripoff. And I think it says GAC, like G-A-C. Ooh, it smells pretty bad. It smells like cigarettes. I'm gonna have to soak this one. I think it says G-A-C though, but the colors are just crazy. I went back and forth if I wanted this or not. It's super boxy as you guys can see. I think if I soak it and clean it up, like some will spend like 25 bucks on it or so. This is a Royals made in USA Rawlings jersey. If this was a different one that had like a sewn in patch on the sleeve, these would go for like 50 plus dollars. I think this one's like a $25 bill though. Pretty clean, but threw it in the video. This one gives me Jinko vibes, but I think it's top heavy. Yeah, top heavy, this brand. I feel like they're like a Jinko ripoff brand, but it's these like flaming dice. So yeah, this just reminds me of Jinko jeans like brand, but. Still really dope. I think on Depop, I could get like $30 for this, maybe more. This is a kid's SpongeBob SquarePants bootleg. It's Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And yeah, the colors are just kind of like a little bit off, which makes it kind of funny, but I think this could fit like maybe an extra small. So I, I picked it up, you know, I'll probably get like 15 bucks for it on Depop. This, I still can't tell if it was like handmade or not. It looks like it had a tag though, but it's this like Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. It's got Donald, it's got Pluto on there. It's all over print. It's like a crew neck sweater. It's really big though, but I almost threw it back, but it's pretty cool, honestly. Maybe on Depop, I could get like 25, 30 bucks for it. It's a little bit stained up. I'm gonna have to sew. It. This is in, I think, early 90s Green Bay Packers shirt. Sure, it's super clean and super soft, and it has that little, I think it's Diet Coke hit. Yeah, the little Diet Coke hit is very cool on it, but like super, super soft. It might even be 80s, honestly. So I think it was Tuesday, like Tuesday or Wednesday, like the first bin that came out, I think I got like four really solid things. And this was one of them. It's this Jimmy Buffett banana wind, like long sleeve tour shirt on a giant TJ's blank single stitch. I think this probably goes for like 25, 30 bucks. I know Jimmy Buffett shirts, even on like giant tags, like don't really go for that much. And the first thing I saw when I pulled it was the giant tag. So I was super stoked. And then when I pulled it out, I was like, oh, Jimmy Buffett, like cool. It's still like money, but it was not as exciting as I thought it was going to be, but still really solid. This is probably the best thing I pulled that day though. And it was in the same bin, I believe. This Sonics, I think it's 1996. Yeah, Seattle Sonics, 1996. This is single stitch on both hems, no tag, but it looks like it's a large or an XL. And yeah, this is like probably an easy 35 bucks or so. We got some Levi's. So my friend who said, sells Levi's gave me some more information on these and he thinks they're like early 80s. They are made in USA. They're women's and they're like a high rise and they are 501s, but they're like 501-0118. And the only pairs I saw on eBay, I think I saw four pairs up and one was a really big pair and it was up for like 15 or $20 plus shipping. But the other pairs were around this size. They were smaller sizes and they were all up for like 70 to hundred dollars. So I think this is a really good pair. They are buttoned down and yeah, they're just like high rise. The wash is kind of like a medium wash, but they're in really, really good condition. They are size 29 by 36. So I think all of these I was seeing were mainly around like 36 length. But yeah, he said like these are probably an easy like $60 minimum. So these are really sick. They were literally just sitting on top of a pile of clothes and no one saw them. More Made in USA Levi's. These are actually my size. They are 31, 32. They are 501s. I might keep these for myself. 
kind of another medium wash. They have a really cool fade on them too. Made in USA, if you guys ever see that little XX and then it'll have like some writing down here that'll say made in USA. And then you can always check the inner tag. And like, I am no Levi's professional. I am like very base knowledge of Levi's, but you check these inner tags and if they're paper and they say made in USA and everything, then they're probably worth picking up. These, look at these. So these, our trip NYC polyurethane pants. God, they're crazy. These I saw selling new on eBay for like 80 bucks or so. So yeah, I think a used pair, I could maybe at least get like 40, 50. I didn't see like any of these online though. They're pretty crazy. So these were wild. And just one of those things that's like, if I wouldn't have known that trip NYC was a good brand thanks to like Depop and thanks to like bondage pants and stuff. Like I wouldn't have picked these out. So yeah, shout out Trash Lair for the trip in my sea knowledge. These I can thank my past career choice for letting me know information about these. These are made well overalls and they're size extra extra small which is a really really good size so i used to be a manager for j crew and madewell is our like sister brand that's like mainly just women focused and it's mainly denim focused i saw these with like the same style code selling for like 50 or so on ebay and yeah if i wouldn't have known about the brand madewell or known how high the retails for these. I think retail on these is probably like 108 bucks or something. And yeah, size extra extra small is really good too because they normally sell out really fast and stores normally only get like one or two extra extra smalls. So they sell out really fast and they're hard to come by. So I was stoked to find these. We got a Jeff Gordon all over print. This is like, I think early 2000s, nothing crazy or anything, but just really good for Depop. This is really dope. We got a Yale crew neck and this is probably at least like $40, maybe 50 or so but yeah i saw prices for these all over the place but it's still a really really good pickup this is another crazy one i don't know what it is with like the designer like swimwear stuff i found like last week but i found the bootleg like fendi fila but the day or two before i found this authentic burberry top and bottom so i actually found the bottoms and then cascadia vintage my friend andy found the top he gave it to me because I found the bottoms first. And yeah, I was very surprised to see that these sell for anywhere from like 80 to like $130 for the set. And it's a good size and it's white. I didn't see many white ones. So yeah, it has the like Nova check and everything. I had a few people interested in them, but I could understand why they wouldn't want to spend like $100 on these, but I'll probably just throw them on eBay. Just a cool little banger. It is a light wash denim, Hard Rock Cafe button up. It has all is one on the back, a little patch, and then this patch right here on the front. This is like a bootleg Homer Simpson tee. I think it's Da Vinci art style. Kind of dope, it's like pretty small. I think it's like a small probably, but really cool. And this next stack I'm gonna show you guys, I think is 19 pieces. And you guys saw a little bit of a clip of, I went to a homie's garage sale a day early. He had everything set out and me and Abby, Ben's mom went together to go pick through it. I got this stack of 19 things for a hundred dollars flat. So I just wanted to show them off pretty quick. This is a Denver Broncos Super Bowl tee on a starter blank. This is a Looney Tunes like embroidered pop tee and honestly i get like 20 dollars easy for these on depop maybe a little bit more but really cool this is a 2001 pepsi one promo tee but it's also like a college promo tee i think it's like a college sports promo tee but yeah like snack teas and stuff are kind of hot right now so i figured why not this is a new age the mountain just dragon big print tee honestly on depop i'll probably get like 20 dollars for this it's just like a big dragon graphic someone's gonna want it this is a harley davidson long sleeve but it has flames on the sleeves which is always good it's also a pocket tee it's very clean too probably get like 20 25 bucks for this on depop this needs a soak but it is a nascar cafe shirt which i thought was pretty cool it has some signatures I'm not sure if I can get those out, but still really cool. Little front pocket print right there. This is a blank and it's a black blank, size large, single stitch. It's 90s Hanes blank. Yeah, honestly, might just keep this for myself or hold on to it if someone wants to buy it for like to print on something. This is a kind of like marbled all over print Australia tee with like the foil print. It's not like all over print, but like it's like marbled. It's really cool, single stitch. 
good Depop shirts. I'm telling y'all, these shirts like do really well on Depop, probably like $20 for the shirt, single stitch, like 90s, just like a cute bear shirt. Another one, single stitch, like light pink. It's like birds and like a cat, probably like 20 bucks for this on Depop. This is a cool Long Beach, like kite festival shirt. I just really like the colors. Another probably like at least 18 to $20 shirt on Depop. It's just a vintage single stitch, like sunflower floral tee. Got a Jimmy Buffett. I think this one is two, yeah, 2002 Jimmy Buffett tour shirt. So probably like 20 bucks or something on this. This I was super surprised these go, don't go for more. It's this Red Wings Stanley Cup champions, like on a starter blank. These go for like $15 and I was super shocked by that, but I still kind of wanted it. Like, I don't know. I'm only into certain sports tees if like the graphics cool. Like I really like starter too. So if something's on like a starter blank, I'll probably pick it up. Got a University of Washington crew neck and it's like a cream color. It has some stains in it, but it's Rose Bowl. It's really, really cool. Got this one, Nona. I think it's the first tour. Yeah, debut tour. So this is a pretty good one. I haven't really looked up this one. Honestly, don't really think it would go for more than like $30 or so, but it's her like debut tour and the colors are really cool. This is probably my favorite thing I got from the lot. It's this Harley Davidson, like, it reminds me of tiger print camo, like t-shirt. And I think it's women's just cause it's like pretty small and cut a little bit weird, but it's single stitch, like nineties. Like the print is just crazy. The print and graphic, like honestly, I'll probably charge at least like 30 for this on Depop, maybe a little bit more, but it's just really awesome. And we got a Utah crew neck. It's just a vintage Utah crew neck. And then this one is pretty cool. It's the Nebraska corn huskers, but the print is just like, crazy really really big 1994 that's all i got from his garage sale and then from the bins this past week i hope this video isn't super long i know it's already pretty long and i'm attaching this like bins haul to the end of it appreciate you guys please subscribe like the video drop a comment i'm definitely going to be doing some video content with flosif and not most people so look out for that this is jackson with love this vintage peace out